Well, glory be to God. Another great day, another great opportunity to be able to share the word of God, encourage one another, and lift each other in prayer. And so I'd like to encourage you today in James chapter 5 and verses 13. James chapter 5 and verses 13, and it says this. Are any of you suffering hardships? You should pray. Are any of you happy? You should sing. So James here is giving us a principle that we should be able to stand upon. And the first principle we are told is any of you suffering hardships, say you should pray. At many of times when we go through hardships, we really don't feel like praying. We just feel like complaining. We feel like murmuring. We feel like arguing. We feel like going to bed and sleeping. And hopefully when we wake up, the problem will go. But James is telling us, if you are suffering hardships, you need to pray. In other words, your prayer will bring you out of those hardships. Your prayer will cause you to have a revelation from your father and you'll be able to understand the, 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 the revelation to get out of those hardships. Your prayers will help you get out of those sufferings. Lack of prayer will keep you in sufferings. And therefore, I'd like to encourage you today, don't look for people to murmur and complain about your sufferings. I'd rather look for somebody who can agree with me in my sufferings. Because we say, pray. What do I mean by agree with me in my sufferings? Agree with me in prayer in the sufferings that I'm having. Because when we pray together, we are making a move of God to take place. That's why the Bible says one will put a thousand to flight and two will put ten thousand to flight. And therefore we've been told if anybody is suffering hardships, you should pray. The next thing he says, are any of you happy? You should sing. I've never seen someone who is happy who has never failed to express their happiness. They sing, they dance around, and they rejoice because they are happy. If you can do that when you are happy, you should do what is required of you when you are suffering. He says, pray. So whenever you are facing any kind of hardship, get on your knees, begin to lift up your voice, and begin to pray to your heavenly Father. And I'd like to pray for you right now, whether you are having a hardship or not hardship. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm praying for the individual right now who is listening to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, I come into an agreement that, Lord, you will set them free from every hardship that they are going through because it is your desire that they break free from every hardship in Jesus' name. For the Lord, I take authority over every hardship. I take authority over every limitation that they might be facing in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare right now, be set free from every hardship. Father, send them revelation. Send them men and women who are full of faith and full of the Holy Ghost to help them, Lord Jehovah, walk out of this hardship in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Receive your breakthrough free from that hardship in Jesus' name. And that is all, well, what we ought to do every time we face a hardship. We say, no, no, no. I choose not to remain in this hardship. I choose to walk free out of this hardship in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. And if you are happy, sing to the Lord. Glory be to God. Let your joyful noise be made unto the Lord. Why? Because you are happy and the Lord will be delighted in your joyful noise. So you stay blessed and have a wonderful day.